from that right here to this right there using this stuff so welcome to another episode of junkyards and barn finds with sean and i'm sean So, on this, this is the one that came out of the truck. It was broken. We found this part under the seat that fits there. Like that, okay? But, I gotta do something because I can't really use this like this. It'll just pull off because it doesn't connect to there. So, two things we could do is we can use this here to make this part, clean all this out, all this gook, it's in here we can clean this out from inside okay take off and then just build one here using this or we can just put spray foam in there and use spray foam to create one in there so i'm not sure which one i'm going to go with i think i may try the spray foam and i already unscrewed this behind so this fits like this is going to fit in here like so so this is going to fit in there like this okay so this is all hollowed out because it had a whole bunch of the black stuff in there so what we could do like i said is we could put spray foam in there and make a spray foam piece that fits and then maybe carve some of this up to be in here in this area put some pieces in there before we do with the spray foam let all the spray foam connect to everything so not really sure how to do this um but i definitely want to try something so that's what we're going to do. And I don't think I can buy this part. Maybe I can. I don't know. Maybe I'll go online first, see if I can buy this part. But if I can't, then we're going to have to make it. In the meantime, we can go ahead and clean this door panel up, spray it, and make it what we need to do. Hey, everybody. How you doing? So it's a little windy out. I think we're expecting some big thunderstorms. So today I just figured I'd work on the truck a little bit. This is one of the things we're going to be doing is, so we just redid, so we just redid this door panel. If you remember right, this was the one we got off of the other door. And we, the reason we wanted to use it because it had this pad in really good shape here. Okay, so this pad, we have good shape now. Our, our passenger side that came with this truck, the pad is all broken up. So let me close this here. So the pad is all broken up for the passenger side door. Um, we pulled some of the foam, this foam here that's shoved up in here, that was still stuck on here. So we unscrewed this, and this fits in here. We found this pad underneath the back seat when we were taking the seats out. So we have this pad and we kind of need this to finish up the other door because they're really hard to find and when you find them they're also pretty expensive. So we need to make something like this and we need this edge to come down and we need it to be nice and clean. So we only have this piece here, this half. We don't have the rest. So what I was thinking is, here, work with me here for a minute. So what I'm thinking is here's the passenger door here's the other driver's door the one we didn't use and this is all taped on so i wonder 
and we'll go ahead and pull this tape off. I, I wonder if underneath all this disgusting tape, sticky shit that's all over my hands now, and why people do it. Actually, I could probably see from the inside here. So let's see. There's something. There's a screw missing there. There's a screw there. Uh, there's a screw there, screw there, and a bolt here. So there are actually, all the bolts are in there. So maybe if I cut this off and take this out, and I, I might just cut that right there instead of trying to take all this disgusting tape out. But if we can get this off and the piece of, and the plastic bottom piece here, like this plastic bottom is in good shape, then I'm wondering, if we flip it upside down, use the bottom piece here, and use this upside down as the rest of the bottom here, and then we're going to use spray foam that you use to seal up your windows and everything. We're going to spray it in this area in here to fill up the cavity of it with new foam. We could spray in there, we could spray there. And we can fill up this whole cavity with new foam. If we have to reshape it a little bit, we can, but then screw this back onto the other door, onto the passenger door, and use it. So, it may be a way to remake this. There's plenty of holes in here. There's plenty of ways to spray, put spray foam in there. So let's see if we can do that. So first thing is, let me get this tape off here. And I apologize if there's a lot of wind on the microphone. There shouldn't be plenty of downwind here. But if we can do that, then we can put this on to the other door and we'll have two good doors. So let me get a razor blade and I'll be right back. All right. Go ahead. You want to go in? Go ahead in. I don't think. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, so. So what we got here is we have this cover, which is what we need. Sorry if the lighting's bad. I don't like it really do about. This is the piece that goes inside right here. So this is the piece. This is this piece right here. All right now. We're going to use the stuff, spray foam, to fill that area in. But we still need to form this edge. So we took this, as you saw, off the other door. And I'm, I'm thinking if we, if we use the bottom here, that should have the same curvature. It's just a mirror image. And this is gonna sit, this will be like this. Okay, so this will be in here. I just have to cut this down like that, right across there, with this Dremel tool, Dremel cutter. So we're gonna cut that and we're gonna have to shape it a little bit. Then we'll stick it on here we're going to just tape the outside on with painter's tape and then we're going to put the, the uh, foam in and see if we can get the correct shape with that foam. So, first thing is we only need to be on the outer edge here because we're trying to get to this point. So we're trying, this is going to be the floor for this. So we don't really need this edge high at all. So I think we can just cut right there, right along that edge. And it's already cracked right there anyway, so we'll just go start that crack, come right this way, and that'll be our first cut.
this piece now is totally broken, but we might still be able to use it. So let's set this off for a second here. Okay, let's go. Here. Let's turn this up. We're just cutting this little, cutting these pieces out right here. The support wall pieces on the inside we're cutting. So we're going to cut that out there. And so this goes, this goes like this, with this piece around it, right here. Daisy, you guys can stay outside for a couple minutes. All right, so then we have this, which is going in, although well, we're gonna cut this piece right here off. might be able to be used right here okay if nothing else to put make some stability for this outer wall where there's a base right here so if we stick this daisy relax you don't need that so this will go here Let's tear all this old foam out. So we can still get all this old foam out. Alright. So this old foam needs to come out. Try to get it down to the plastic. Try to get all the old foam out we can. So one thing when you have four dogs in the house, you don't really have too much worry about, especially on the back porch, you know there's gonna be dirt and dust and greamy gimey gopher guts and all that. So I'm not real concerned right now, which is why I came out here. And I'll clean this up in a little bit, but all right, so just getting this out. So this new foam will stick to the to the I don't know, is this leather, pleather, whatever they made the door material from uh, back in 1995. So, all right, so we got all that out right there. Now this piece, we're gonna have go in, go like this. So it'll be here like that. So what we need to do then is I need to cut this part right here a little bit more. There we go. Alright. So this will go in here. This is the original, right? 
And then we have this piece, which is actually the other side reversed. And that is going to be here like this. Now, is it going to be perfect? No, it's not going to be perfect. But what it does is when you pull on the handle here to pull the door closed, it has some plastic that you're grabbing instead of just foam. So that is what we really needed is something solid here. So when you pull on this, it's actually using the two screws from there and the screw that's going to be pulled up from the inside because that screws right in there, the plastic piece that's going to screw in there and that hole should line up so it's going to bring it in. So that's really what we wanted. So we want to sit it like this and just put that like that and then that will be that right there it's going to be what we need so let's tape this we're just going to use painters tape because we're still going to have to clean and paint this afterwards so we're just going to use some painters tape here to keep the shape and we're going to do painters tape back here to keep the shape. Keep this all where it's supposed to be. Actually, it might be a longer piece of tape here. There we go. And this might need to be a little longer here. There we go. And do this in the front. Tape that to there. Um, actually, I want to make sure we get this piece here. So, okay, and right here. Okay, so it's expandable foam. So now we have this. I'll put another piece of tape right here, I think. Let's see. Okay. So, that should work. So we're kind of just making this like the mold in the inside. So when we spray all this expandable foam in here, it's going to expand in there. Then if we have to change it or, set, or do something to it, then we can do something but you know at least we know or at least we're giving it a shot if we need to have this because honestly they're super hard to find online even unless I want to pay 100 150 bucks and honestly if I'm going to pay that let's try doing it this way first all right so we'll go ahead Take this for a second. And we're gonna grab a cloth here. Make sure we're gonna get two. Put these down here. Somebody sitting on the cloth. They're actually paper towels. They just look like cloth. In fact, this one says on the back. See, it says, white rags works like cloth, but they're paper towels. All right. So, shake this up really good. And if this works, we only spent four bucks. Well, plus a couple pieces of tape, so four dollars and ten cents. Because that's what this was. This was like $3.99 at Walmart. So let's screw this on here. And then we will shoot foam in here. We're shooting the foam in there. And we're shooting foam back, back in here. And we're going to shoot foam 
Put in this hole back here. You can see it pop coming out, right? There we go. And shoot from here. And here. And we'll shoot some foam in there. feels pretty full but just want to make sure All right. I think that is full I'm just gonna Wipe this down. I think that is flat. Clean this up a minute. And those of you who have worked with foam know it is a disgustingly pain, big pain in the ass to clean up. So let's put all that in that box over there and we'll just throw the box out. Meanwhile, let me wipe this down before it all sets because this is one of my tables that I use to model on and build stuff on. bag on top to make sure that it lays flat while it dries out and expands. And I believe we may have just made this. So we'll come back in about 35-40 minutes, maybe a little longer, see how it's set, clean it all up, and we should have, we should have us a new door handle. Guys, it's a little rainy outside right now, but if you look, this is what we got so far, and it's pretty solid in here. So the whole interior of this piece is now solid. We're gonna let the foam, it's gonna have to, oh crap, got some on my arm. Um, we're gonna let it dry. Some of this stuff's already drying, but it's expanding. And once it expands, we'll cut it all off. We'll take the tape off. And as you can see, you know, it filled it up. We got some coming out of here. So this is all solid now. And then we can cut this off, clean it up, and then paint it. But for now, we're just going to let it sit out here. It's thunderstorming, as you can hear in the background. And we're just going to let it dry. So, um, $4.44 couple pieces of tape and
some pieces of plastic. If you don't have this inside plastic, you can always just go to Lowe's or somewhere, get a piece of plastic. Well, or you could use even probably a piece of little, you know, like tin or aluminum and just create it as well if you wanted to. And you got, I got to keep, I keep putting it on my elbow here. Keep hitting the damn thing. So now I got it on my elbow. All right. So we'll be back when it's all dry. I think I'll probably take a couple hours. All right, guys. All right, I know Daisy wants to go outside, so let me let her out real quick. Okay. You want to go outside, sweetie? All right, so here is everything is it's not super 100 percent dry i don't think i don't know i don't know how long it takes to dry for this stuff but it's dry enough that we can start taking the tape off let's take the tape off here take that tape off take this tape off take this tape off here and take this tape off here okay so might be a little overstuffed actually but that's all right i don't mind overstuffed let's just tear this off here it's sticking i'm gonna take that off right there like that okay so take that off Take all this off here. Take this off here. Yeah. All right. Take this one off there. Take this off here. That comes off here. Okay. Take that off. Take this off. Right here. Take that. This piece of tape. There we go. Take this piece of tape. There we go. All right. So that's all. Okay. And then we got tape up here on the front too. All right. Let's see. We got this piece of tape right here. Take that out. Okay. There we go. All right. So, cut this down right along there. And we can cut this right along here. There we go. Okay. So, and we can get this cut right here, right there. Boop. Okay. Peel that. And then. Oh, that's still a little wet. There, get off my finger. Yeah, some of this is still wet. We'll let that rest of it dry, but you can definitely see where now, and this thing is, it's soft but solid. It's filled with foam, just like the original. So, anyway, so that's what's going on. We'll clean it off here in a little bit, but it's pretty pretty close to what we wanted. So. All right, we'll come back when it's fully cured instead of just now all over my fingers. 
All right, guys, so here is our finished armrest. And I sanded just a little bit, but a little. So basically, it's solid now. Every part of this is solid. And it's soft and solid because it is it is foam. So it feels like the original, as you can see. So we drilled the hole, you know, we put the hole, not drilled, but we put had holes in here. We sprayed it in all the areas. Then this morning, took a knife and just cleaned that off there, cleaned it off here. And then I took some sandpaper to sand this. We'll clean this and So it kind of looked like this, right? So this is all we really had, this and a piece of broken plastic at the bottom. And so now you can see, this is the driver's side, this is the passenger side. So you can see what we did. So if you start with this and we end up with this, but let me paint this. I'm gonna paint this real quick and then we'll go, we'll show you when we went from this to this for about five dollars not even five dollars under five dollars so when i come back i'll show you we're going to paint this and then we're going to clean it and then paint it and then uh we'll put it back on the door panel All right, and again, to clean it, all we need to do to clean is use some crud cutter, spray it on here. That will clean all this, the nastiness off of this. Now, if you guys remember when we were cleaning the truck out, the passenger side, we thought this was actually missing and it wasn't missing. We found it under the back seat when we removed the back seat of the truck and it's a pretty nasty truck if you want to watch the rest of those if you're just watching this to see how to do this um, then you probably have the pad but if you didn't have a pad you can go to a junkyard and get a pad and rebuild one if you want um, or if you have to buy one but um, you can see all the nicotine that was on this thing. Cleaned it a couple times here. So we already cleaned our door panel that we're going to put this on. And you can see, like right in here, you can see the foam in there. So the foam actually, when you could use, if you looked, if you saw a little bit before, you could see where there was a cut in here because the foam started to come out that cut a little bit. But in the meantime, we're just going to clean off this as best we can and then we'll go ahead and we're going to use our dupli cover fabric uh, vinyl die we're going to use the die for that and we'll show you that here in a minute I'm just wiping this down so yeah that's it's a pretty gross because original the original gray for this the original color for this was like that that's how old and disgusting this was but we managed to wipe that stuff off and last thing will be is um We'll go ahead and use some Windex real quick, glass cleaner. You can use any kind of glass cleaner, alcohol or anything, or wipe it down with acetone if you want. Just enough to get all the cleaning stuff and dye off this. So now, we'll go over and we'll paint. We're not really painting, we're dyeing. This is going to dye. Um, and then you'll see the other part that this goes on. All 
All right, again, we're using uh, vinyl fabric, especially for us, we're doing our whole interior in the uh, medium beige. So that's the color dye we're using. And we'll just do a short coat. Small coat to start with. All right, so that's a tack coat. And we wanna, so that's the tack coat. So that's like uh, the first coat. Now they said, this is dye, it's not paint. So it's really gonna get absorbed into the plastic and into the vinyl or whatever this stuff is, uh, the vinyl and fabric. So the first coat, Let's sit about five minutes as it gets absorbed into this, you know, what is it, 25, 30 year old plastic here. And then we will put another probably two coats in and then uh, that should do it. Thank you. 
from that right here to this right there using this stuff from that to that for under five dollars So, next we're just going to, it's all painted, and these little spots here are just where I, I was a little messy, but it's not going to really distract from the whole overall thing being done. So, we're going to put this big bolt, nope, we're going to put this big screw down there. I'm going to paint the tip real quick. In the meantime, from behind, we're going to put the other bolts in where they go. Painted that tan with some tan paint that I have that kind of matches this because it's going to go through put that there. it's going to go right in there but we're going to put these other screws in first all right so there we go now is this thing perfect nope not perfect but will it last for a long time and is it worth instead of paying 98 dollars for one hell yeah to me it is should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 